I'm always surprised by which comments I make. I make a daily business comment that you can get at MoneyTalks.net that receives, uh, you know, huge reaction. And uh, it's as I say, every week it's a bit of a revelation. Let me play you the one that uh, had it this week. So listen up to this one. I got to be honest. I don't really have a lot of time for the love affair big media has with politics. I mean, it's a recipe for missing the forest for the trees, mistaking the petty for the significant. It's dangerous in that it reinforces what I call the superhero politics, which suggests that all of our problems would be solved if we just elected the right person. Unfortunately, the real world's far more complex. With the hyper focus on political drama, it may fill an entertainment void, but it's also the major reason why the same problems persist year after year from poverty to economic growth to unemployment. Every issue is shuffled onto the simplicity train, which mitigates against effective solutions. I mean, look at the record on Native Reserves. Same tragedies, same abysmal condition for decades. By focusing on the latest political gossip, we miss so many big stories. I mean, right now, arguably the biggest financial story in the world is the precarious state of the Italian banking system, which may be the tip of the iceberg for the entire EU banking system, given the precarious financial position of giants like Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse. And it barely rates a mention. We hear snippets about Russian aggression in the Baltics, but little more. Even when it comes to U.S. politics, the important story with profound implications isn't the narcissistic, bombastic Donald Trump or the uber-ethically challenged Hillary Clinton. It's how did the U.S. democracy get into this sorry state? 324 million people to choose from, and this is the choice? This reflects a major dissent in U.S. politics that reeks of cronyism, corruption, and elitism that's going to have profound economic, financial, and social ramifications. But sadly, we don't even ask how it came to pass, let alone where does it lead. Yeah, there you go. As I say, I'm, I'm always surprised at what level uh, of response you get. Some agreed with that, by the way, and others uh, were offended by it. But again, I'm always amazed at how people have put their faith in the political system that so clearly and so regularly benefits the establishment and not you.